In this video, I'm going to show you how you can take most dumb electrical devices in your home and turn them into smart devices. And then at the end of the video, how you can take a regular TV and with a few add-on items, turn it into a fully functional smart TV. You can do this with so many electrical devices. I mean, you name it. Fans, heaters, TVs, scented wax melters, washers, dryers, humidifiers, lights, lamps, Christmas lights, chargers, coffee makers, curling irons. Step one are these smart outlets. With these smart outlets, I found most electrical devices you plug into a wall can be made smart. I will show you how to tell if your device can be made smart by using my garage gym fan. So take any electrical device and turn it on. Next, unplug the device and then plug it back in again. Like my fan, if the device turns back on, you can make the device smart. On the other hand, here's another fan in my gym. It's turned on, I unplug it, then I plug it back in, and nothing. So this fan won't work to make it smart. Now that you know which devices work, it is time to have fun and be creative with what you can do with the devices that do work as smart devices. Step two is to plug them into your smart home system. To get them to plug into your smart home system and do all the fancy tricks and smart home automation techniques, I add each device to the SmartThings Hub and or one of the three smart apps, the SmartThings app, the Stringify app, and the IFT or IFTTT app. So take this humidifier. Now that it works with SmartThings, it can now be turned on or off using your phone. Also, since now it is plugged into the smart system, I can have it turn off at any hour of the night without waking up. And by the way, these outlets and everything I use to make a smart home is linked to in the description below this video. So next let's take this space heater because this is one of my favorites. It can basically be used as a full thermostat and heating system. So you can turn it on and off with your voice. So if you tell it to turn on in the basement before you even get down there, it will be warm instead of cold. Or let's say you want a room to heat up in the morning on a schedule, just tell any of the three apps I mentioned to do it on that schedule. That way, let's say the bathroom can be warm before you even get there in the morning when you wake up. Now for step three, add more devices to your smart things to make the first device even more smart responsive. For example, with my heater, if you get another device with a temperature sensor on it, and there are plenty of those out there, you can now heat one specific room, and when the temperature hits a certain point, the heater will turn off. And when the room gets too cold, it will turn on. So therefore, you've just created a smart heating system for one or many rooms if you'd like. Or do this with some sort of cooler, and you can do the same thing with AC. So let's move on to some other devices. You can now be more safe with your dumb electrical devices like a curling iron. Just set it up with the smart outlet and now you can set this curling iron on a timer. So once it turns on, it runs a 30 minute timer and then turns off. That way, if you forget to turn it off yourself, it will auto shut off. And now you can also check on your phone from anywhere in the world if you happen to have left the curling iron or anything else on in your house. Now one of the nice things about these specific smart outlets is that you have a button to turn the device on and off with just a simple push of the button. Now, speaking of the button, let me show you the magic of the button. Let's say you have two of these outlets. You can turn on a device that is not even plugged into the outlet, but is plugged into another smart outlet. Take my lamp. You can see it is not plugged into a specific outlet but it is plugged into another outlet. So I can use the outlet with nothing plugged into it to trigger the lamp on and off because it's plugged into another smart outlet because I preset IFTTT or Stringify app to do it that way, even though it's plugged into another outlet. Or I can use the button to turn on and off plenty of other devices that are smart things in my home. You can see in this example, nothing is plugged into the device, but it still turns on and off tons of other devices and lights, including that entry lamp you just saw in the back there. 
this light setting is actually my setting for when I tell Google that guests are coming over. So these smart outlets can take your dumb devices and plug them into a sequence of events that you simply program and stringify, and you can make any scenario you want as long as there's a trigger in smart things to make it work. My Christmas lights as well can now be set up to turn on and off at certain times, or turn on at sunset and off at a certain time, like sunrise if you wish. Or another thing is my charger for my phone battery. You can have the charger turn off at a certain point in the night so it doesn't overcharge too much at night because basically that kind of destroys your battery over time. Now the Stringify and Ift app work with your phone's GPS as well. So you can have it turn on and off any of those once dumb devices that are now smart depending on how close you are to your home or any other location you decide. You can have it turn on a scented wax melter when your phone's GPS enters within a few miles of your home. So now your house can smell like fresh baked cookies right when you get home. Or let's say you wanna throw clothes in the washer but don't want them to sit all day to avoid them getting that moldy smell. Just program your washer to come on an hour before you get home. And you can even watch my longer video to get even more ideas like this on what you can do for your home. But one trick a lot of people do like is to have a freshly brewed cup of coffee in the morning when they wake up. All you have to do is hook up the coffee maker to your smart outlet and tell your smart device through Stringify or Ift to turn on a few minutes before your alarm goes off and you wake up to the smell of coffee and a nice cup of joe, which a lot of people do, but actually I don't even drink coffee, so you're welcome. Now for my favorite device hookup, the TV. I had this older TV sitting around at the same time I was making this video for my awesome garage gym setup. And I'll post that video at the end of this video. The TV wasn't smart, but I wanted a smart TV. So I plugged it into the smart outlet and voila, it's kind of smart. But then I took it the distance and I set it up with Google Chromecast and I also subscribed to YouTube TV, which in my opinion is the best streaming service anyway. Now this dumb TV is pretty much a fully functional smart TV that can be controlled with my voice or my phone. And I love the voice command feature of YouTube TV, Chromecast, and Google Home that I made a separate video about that too. Now let me just give you a warning with the last thing to consider, and that is which smart outlet to go with. I have three criteria when picking a smart outlet. It has to work with smart things or at least stringify or ift. Second, it has to have a button on it so I can manually control it should I or others wish to control it that way. Lastly, it cannot be a Wi-Fi outlet. It can only be a Zigbee or Z-Wave outlet. The amount of Wi-Fi devices on a network can overload it and make the Wi-Fi glitchy. My favorite smart outlets and everything you need to run a smart home is linked to below because my channel is all about helping people make smart purchases. Subscribe if I did that and like this video if it helped you out.